Hi everyone, welcome to Bisaya 24-7, your official Cebuano English tutorial on the web. Today is April 4th, 2021, Easter Sunday. So first, let me greet all of you a happy Easter. In celebration of this blessed Sunday, I'm here to impart to you this beautiful scriptural passages that, in essence, celebrate the true meaning of Easter. So read along with me as we partake in this holy text, both in Cebuano Visayan language and in English language. And lastly, wherever you are, may this video find you healthy, hopeful, and inspired. Ang wali ni Pedro Mga buhat sa mga apostoles Kapitulo 10, versikulo 34, nga to sa 43. Si Pedro miingon, Karon na ila ko na, nga ang Diyos walay pinalabi. Nasayod ka mo ni atong dakong hitabo sa yuta sa Israel. Nagsugod kini sa Galilea, human sa pagwali ni Juan, mahitungod sa bunyag. Nasayod ka mo, mahitungod kang Jesus, nga nasaret non, nga gibubuan sa Dios sa gahom sa Espiritu Santo. Miadto siya sa tanang dapit, ug giayon niya ang tanang giyawaan. Kay ang Dios diha man kaniya. Saksi kami sa tanan nga iyang gibuhat didto sa kayutaan sa Judea lakip sa Jerusalem. Ilang gipatay siya pinaagi sa paglansang kaniya didto sa krus. Apan Nabanhaw siya sa ikatulok kaadlaw o gipadayag siya. Wala makakita kaniya ang tanang mga tao, kundili kami lamang nga mga saksi nga gipili sa Diyos. Nangaon kami o naginom uban kaniya human siya mabanhaw. Ugisugo kami niya sa pagwali sa maayong balita ngadto sa katauhan ug sa pagmatuod na siya mao ang gipili sa Dios paghukom sa mga buhi ug sa mga patay. Naghisgot mahitungod kaniya ang tanang mga propeta nga nagingon nga ang tanan nga nagtuo kaniya pasayloon sa ilang mga sala pinaagi sa gahom sa iyang ngalan. Peter was preaching from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, verses 34 to 43. Then Peter began to speak. I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accepts from every nation the one who fears him and does what is right. You know the message God sent to the people of Israel 
announcing the good news of peace through Jesus Christ, who is Lord of all. You know what has happened throughout the province of Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power and how he went around doing good and healing all who were under the power of the devil because God was with him. We are witnesses of everything he did in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They killed him by hanging him on a cross, but God raised him from the dead on the third day and caused him to be seen. He was not seen by all the people, but by witnesses whom God had already chosen, by us who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that He is the one whom God appointed as judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets testify about Him, that everyone who believes in Him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Gikan sa Salmo 118, versikulo 24 Maokini ang adlaw nga gibuhat sa ginoo. Maglipay o magmaya kita ni ini. This is the day which the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So in closing, let me impart to you this lesson about the true gospel. And this is taken from John chapter 3 verse 16 Juan capítulo 3 versículo 16 Kay gihigugma pag-ayo sa Dios ang kalibutan ug tungod ni ini gihatag niya ang iyang bugtong anak aron Ang tanan nga mutuo kaniya, dili mamatay, kun dili makabaton hinuon sa kinabuhing dayon. So the translation is listed down. Kai means because, gihigugma pag-ayo. The root word is gugma, which is love. So, gihigugma pag-ayo is so loved. Pag-ayo is taken from the word kaayo. Dios is God. Ang kalibutan is the world. Tungod ni ini translates to because of this. Gihatag niya. So, he gave iyang bugtong anak. Anak is son, and bugtong is only. So, iyang bugtong anak means his only son. Aron, so that, tanan, means all. Mutuo, tuo is to believe. Mutuo will believe. Dili mamatay. Mamatay is to die. Dili means will not 
die. So, dili mamatay will not die. Kundili translates to instead and makabaton. Baton is to have. So, makabaton translates to will have. Kinabuhing dayon. Kinabuhi is life. Kinabuhing dayon is eternal life. So let's see. This is a beautiful reminder to all of us. From John chapter 3 verse 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Thank you for watching, please share, and also if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Daghang salamat ug maayong adlaw kanatong tanan. God bless you all.